It is day two as a delegation from the NAACP tours Cincinnati. And only WLWT was with the group as they visited parts of the tri state. WLWT News Five's Christy Davis explains what's attracting them to the Queen City. Christy, good morning. Well, Lisa, I think a better question is what's not attracting them. I mean, really, what's not to love about the Queen City? And the Visitors Bureau was showing off our city yesterday to the delegation from the NAACP to try to attract them back to Cincinnati for the second time since 2008. That time around, the convention actually brought in about $3 million from hotel stays alone. It's just one of the reasons Cincinnati is putting its best foot forward to try and win the 2016 convention. And where the national convention goes, of course, politicians are sure to follow, I'm sure to bring in some of the heavy hitters. From the 2016 presidential election. Members of the delegation told News 5 they definitely enjoyed their visit in 2008 and they can already see how the city has changed since then. We just have to make sure that this is a good fit for them. So today they'll get a tour of the hotel accommodations, the convention center. They'll also get a look at some newly renovated entertainment areas. Now we're told the other cities in the running are St. Louis. Uh, Baltimore and also Austin, Texas. Of course, I think we can actually, you know, beat all of those cities, but we won't know for sure for at least another few weeks. Reporting live, Christy Davis, WLWT News 5.